While Evernote is a great way to keep track of your notes and ideas, it can also be really helpful to manage complex projects. I want to show you how I do it. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, a certified Evernote expert. That means I get to participate in a couple of calls a month and learn all about the latest tools from the folks who are working to design and maintain Evernote. And then I share what I learn with you in these videos. Subscribe and you won't miss any of them. So I've used Evernote to help me write two books, and that means collecting a whole lot of research and organizing it before I ever started to write the first word. I also use Evernote to manage the course that I teach at a local university, and I consult with clients, both individuals and organizations. All of that is kept inside of Evernote. Let me show you some of my tricks. Let's start with uh, the work that I do with clients. So I have a stack uh, for everything related to my business, and then I have a note for all of my clients. And then within this stack, I have a notebook for each of my clients. If we come over to imaginary client number one, you'll see that I start each of my client notebooks with what I call a status note. It's just an easy way of me not only having the contact information I need, but all of the updates and tasks related to that client. So this is my master note. I can also keep uh, summaries of the meetings that we have had here. Uh, if there's a budget associated with this client, it's here. Uh, this was a, a, a meeting note uh, that we had to begin talking about the work that we're going to do together. I can also add here, in addition to the budget, any other documents that uh, uh, I might have that's pertinent to this client. Uh, I can add agendas for future meetings. I add uh, uh, notes uh, that uh, you know are just brainstorming notes, uh, either that I have with the client or on my own. Now, if you notice uh, on the status note, what I've done is I've pinned this note to the top of this notebook uh, so it always resides on the top. That's important to me because this is the note that I am going to uh, um, use most frequently. There are other things I can do. Of course, I can pin this to my home screen if I work with this client a lot. Um, I can also create a link here and I can copy the link to this notebook so that I can put it in an email. Or... The share feature is also very nice because I can give the person permission to edit the note, which is nice um, if, uh, if I'm asking the, the client to add notes to it. Um, or I can just give them uh, the option to view uh, the note. Now, I've mentioned that I also uh, collect research and I've used Evernote, uh, for example, to really help me write two books. And in fact, right now, I'm uh, using another notebook stack to collect information for another book. Uh, in this case, I would start with yet another uh, stacked notebook. And in that stacked notebook, I would have uh, individual notebooks for each topic. Uh, I would uh, then start an outline page and I would kind of organize everything on that outline page. And then once I have all the information and the outline, uh, I'm ready to start writing. Now, I typically write in Microsoft Word when I write long projects, but I can keep this screen then uh, open and uh, all of my research and my outline is readily available to me. Same thing applies uh, for the university courses that I teach. Uh, I have a stack notebook called Teaching, and then I have a notebook for each course. Uh, within that uh, course notebook, I'll have my syllabus. I'll have a note for each lecture. I'll put in my class roster with the links to the, to the grading uh, system that our university has. I can even have a link uh, in a note to the ebook that we use. And then when I'm lecturing, uh, I just use my iPad as a reference. I'll call up the notes for that, particularly day, that particular day's lecture, and then I can refer that as I go along so I can follow along in my notes. I'd love to learn how you use Evernote to manage your complex projects. 
post a note below. I'd love to learn from you. Okay, time for a question from a viewer. This time the question comes from Cassidy, who writes, I've read that Evernote is about to change its search function. What can you tell us? Well, Cassidy, what I think you're referring to is a social media post from Federico Simonato, the uh, product lead for Evernote at Bending Spoons. Uh, not that long ago, he wrote on social media, we're testing internally the first version of Evernote's semantic search. Hey, I think it's great that they're looking for ways to make search more robust. I'm, I use search all the time inside of Evernote. So let me explain what's going on here. So traditional search is where the system matches keywords. So you type in the word cats and then it looks for notes with the word cats and shares those uh, listings with you. But a semantic search is different. It tries to understand what you really are trying to look for, kind of like the way we would communicate in person where, you know, I would ask you a question, you give me a response. It's more than just a one-on-one -on -one match. I mean, you would start to try to understand what I'm really looking for, which might be broader than just the word cats. So the fact that Evernote is uh, doing internal testing on this improved search obviously means they have the code written and hopefully we'll get to see it in action soon. I'm hoping that they give the Evernote Experts group a preview and that I can share with you uh, what I learn. Hey, if you have an Evernote related question, post it below or email me at daveedwards at outlook.com. I love to answer your questions. So daveedwards at outlook.com. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. Okay, so you've got Evernote. You use it to take notes, save ideas, and maybe clip a few web pages. But here's the thing. Evernote can do so much more. And that's where Evernote Beyond the Basics comes in. This online course shows you how to use the powerful features inside Evernote and why they are important. Whether you're managing projects, tracking goals, leading a team, or just trying to stay on top of daily life. This course helps you build a system that will work for you. No fluff, no theory, just clear step-by-step -step videos that walk you through everything. You get over two hours of easy to follow content, lifetime access, and free updates whenever Evernote rolls out something new. All for just $50. Go from Evernote user to power user. Full details at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on courses.